Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. I thought I would do an unboxing for Papercraft Society box number 16. This is all over the place in terms of the numbers. The reason I'm doing this is because I've only just got this one, but it is still available. So lots of you have already received this some time ago now, probably even six to eight weeks ago. But nonetheless, because it's still available and I now have one, I thought I would share it with you all. And I do have some nice ideas to do some mixed media, craft room decor with this. I recently got myself some canvases and I'm thinking about using this kit on those canvases. So as always if you're new to the Papercraft Society or to my channel these are a monthly subscription box and they're always by a different designer each month. It's a nice size box and the decoration on the outside is always an indication to the theme and the colours within the kit and you can see there's this massive huge butterfly on the front. Now I have, I kind of have an idea about this one but I haven't actually gone into this one properly. So I'm just going to open this one up. It's always in a nice box. Lots of people like to keep the boxes. I actually use them for posting things. I just keep everything in the envelopes. So this one's by Lynette Jasper. She is Pretty Gets Gritty. So it says here, don't think outside the box. Think of what you can make with the box. So that's a good one. And also I know that Christina Griffiths, she recently done a tutorial on upcycling your boxes. So you always get an envelope and you also get more goodies in the tissue paper. So you can see mine's not even been opened yet, but I'm loving the colour of that tissue paper. So as always, I'm going to look in the envelope first. So again, you can see that lovely design. And then you've got the Pretty Gets Gritty logo by Jeanette, Lynette Jasper, sorry. Okay, so you've got creat Creativity Takes Courage. A day is never wasted if you use it to create. And creativity is intelligence is intelligence having fun. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so first of all, we'll look at the dies. Okay, I'm just going to take the back of one of the papers there so you can see the dies that you get. Okay, so we have an outline for a butterfly, which I'm guessing is going to cut this stamp here, which we'll look at. You've got all these cogs. So it's got a bit of a steampunk feel. You've got your light bulb and then that's the base that's like the screw of the light bulb these would be the element and then you have another cog there and then this i'm guessing is to represent the moon possibly that's what i'm getting from that but it's a nice geometric kind of circle there you have two you have the outline or just a larger circle and then this one as well which does cut all of these circles but again i guess you could use that as a stencil if you wanted to so you've got a few dies on there and then usually the dies will coordinate with the stamp. So we'll look at, you've got two stamps in this one, which you don't always get. Again, it's all down to the designer and what they decide to do. So I'm guessing that this bulb die will cut this and it's a lovely um, light bulb there. Never thought I'd actually really say that, a lovely light bulb. Although I do have some nice Edison light bulbs myself. So there is an appreciation for a light bulb, I think. Um, so I imagine this would look really nice heat embossed in like a silver or a nice neon colour. I think that would look really cool. I do like these. I love the font of the sentiments you've got. Maybe you're not, maybe the maths is wrong. So I guess, oh, maybe you're not wrong. Maybe the maths is wrong. So I guess, yeah, you can change that around. I think <laughs> you light me up, shine bright. Oh, okay, you cut all these out. I got it. <laughs> so, Okay, yeah, so you can change all of these. You've got you, light me up, then you've got shine bright, um, make life, or you can change that, love, glow, my, our positive, I can't read it as it says, you know what I mean, I, infinity, power and formula. So there's all kinds of things you can do there. It's someone's special day. So again, it's got that mathematical feel to it. You're in, you're in your prime. So again, prime numbers, all that lot, I'm kind of getting it now delightful so perfect with the light bulb and then you've got your numbers all along the bottom there more of the cogs you've got the never-ending infinity sign that's the one and then you have this other geometric kind of print there as well so nice stamp set and I'll go on to this stamp set as well so you've got your large butterfly which I love I just adore butterflies and I have no stamp like that at all to be honest most of my butterflies are dies I don't have that many stamps at all so I love this and I definitely will be using this as a big feature on my canvas I think I've got an idea of maybe doing lots of this butterfly um, stuck to the canvas and then a really cool kind of background so there's your die to cut that 
and then again you've got the cogs you've got some background here i love the splats the splats are always good on mixed media another birthday who's counting lovely sentiment i really like that one actually age is just an imaginary number brilliant um, can you can be my prime number really like them i think they're really fun again i've got nothing like that at all and that's the nice thing about the papercraft society because it's a different designer each month there's always something very new and different and I'm not a massive mixed media person but I do like it and I have done more mixed media because I've had these kits so I know that one of the kits a few months back was the Be Crafty Girls and I done a really nice embroidery hoop it was really good fun so another nice stamp set there and then you also get a stencil this is a great stencil for a birthday card because you could just stencil that onto and you know the, the cardstock and make your own kind of background paper and then you know have the main number like a 21 in the middle or something I think that would look really cool I imagine that in like a rainbow kind of um, ombre you know kind of blend your, your rainbow colours throughout that I think that look really nice then you've got your papers so you have <laughs> this reminds me of my workbooks just loads of doodles when I was in my science class do you know what I could actually probably pull out some of my old school books and print the papers and make my own ones as well because that's, that's what that reminds me of so it is it's lots of mathematical equations and doodles and geometric kind of shapes and stuff it's really fun you always get two of each so I'll find that other one. Oh no actually see this is where I jump ahead in all of the kits there's always been two of each but actually this one they've given you one of each but you get lots of different designs so I'm corrected so there's that one and there's this one here which has got a kind of a bit of a, a feminine steampunk geometric kind of thing you know you've got the cogs there you've got the geometric print you've got the the, the leaves the butterflies and you have this one here which has just got all the cogs all on it this one with all the numbers again great for more of a masculine birthday card i think that would work really well that one's really nice i like that one a lot i love the ombre this one again Perfect if you've got anybody who's an architect, that could be a good background for a card for them. And then there's that lovely butterfly, you can see how it will stamp, that's the print there. And I imagine possibly, no that has been blown out, I was going to th th say maybe the die would cut that out. Really nice, and then another one with all the numbers all over it, so very very different. Definitely looking forward to using these papers. So that's everything in your envelope. Like I said, they are always different from designer to zoop to designer. And if again, you're new to the channel and interested to find out more, I have a playlist with every single box. If you click up here, it will pop up now and you'll be able to go back and look at the unboxings just so you can get a feel of what each one, you know, is like and just how much variety you get. And then we've got the tissue, which is actually feels quite heavy. Now I always try and carefully peel this off so I can save the tissue. I can't tell you the last time I bought tissue paper because I always use the tissue from these and they're always a different colour as well. But this one, no, I'm not succeeding. I'll still keep the paper, I can still save it, but I'm just gonna tear it through the middle there. Okay, beautiful colour. So we have, what's this here? Acrylic paint and a gesso. Now I've only got a matte gesso and it's a clear. I don't, I know I think I do, I'm telling a lie, I do have a tub of white gesso. <laughs> what your gesso is, is it, it's basically a primer. So you lay your gesso down, especially if you're working in maybe um, any kind of art journals and stuff like that. You paint your gesso down first, it primes the paper so it allows you to add lots and of different layers and more water onto it without it seeping through to other projects or seeping through onto the paper. It's just a great medium for you to be able to layer up and create those mixed media backgrounds. And then you've also got the blue acrylic paint there. Then you have a mini little rubber brayer, which is super cute, love the colour of that one as well. And then we've got some chipboard. These look like coasters. So I guess you could use them for anything, but that, you know, straight away I'm thinking coaster. And then you have some gift tags. Um, and the inside the book will be inspiration how to use all of this. And then you have a rubber gripped paintbrush, which is nice, feels really nice. I like the purple color there as well. You also always get these little info cards and you'll see here's mine here. I've got all the other ones from all the past kits. I keep them on this little ring. 
This one here says, the only limit is your own imagination. And these are top, ti top tips to mark making. I don't even know what mark making is, so this is a new one for me. Use these top tips from Lynette to enhance your projects with additional interest and texture. So I'm going to have a read through that. I'm not going to go through it all now because, you know, it's for those of you to look at if you decide to get this or if you already have it, have you read it all? <laughs> then you get your coordinating cardstock. So again, this will match the and coordinate with the pattern papers. So I think here you're getting, again, you're getting all different colours. So those are the colours. Love that yellow. Aren't they nice? All your different kind of blue shades there and then that lovely pop of colour which is the same as the tissue paper. And then here is Lynette Jasper holding her box. So she'll give you a brief introduction, you get the contents, everything is in the box, inspiration. So let's have a little look. <laughs> it's just one idea there. This is an altered light bulb. So that is an actual light bulb in there. You can just about see there's the top of it and then it's kind of on something or it looks like she put it on the bottom of like a dessert bowl or a wine glass or something very very different for me but it's so much fun and then you've got some makes here so you can see how that light bulb looks again great masculine style there as well and i love how they've made that look rusty it looks really really cool and then you've got here this is a, a journal page so you can see she'll probably explain about the gesso and then again it looks denim how that's been created is really I'm looking forward I'm going to have a good read through this because like I said I only know a little bit about mixed media and the good thing about it is is there's no rules you just do your own thing really but it'd be nice to just have a few guides again this is all in a journal see the the, the middle of the page there and again be delightful I love my positive power. So there you go, there's one of the sentiments that you can make with all those stamps once you cut them all apart. Shine bright. There's that one there. I'm showing a bit more this time because of the fact that this has been out for a while so a lot of people, or all the subscribers anyway, will have already seen all this so I'm not giving anything away. And that's unusual, that's using cutting, you know, snipping parts out of that moon to make a flower. Who's birth another birthday who's counting so it just shows you some creative ways there to you know use the dies in a way that you may not have thought so that's everything there as always in the description box you'll find a direct link to the paper craft society so you can check out your options with subscriptions there you can do a month to month you can do a quarterly six monthly or a yearly subscription and there's sometimes deals and offers around so check out those as well until next time thank you for watching and i'll be back again soon bye